Hey guys, Gwinnett here. I am bringing you the top eight from MPDC 2307. Uh, my opponent uh, is on top and he is playing mono black and I am playing my Is It Turtle Power deck. I won game one and this is game two. Let's take a look at my opener. Um, definitely a risky opener, but I do have all my colors plus two mana. Um, could very easily go wrong if I don't draw into some land pretty quickly here. Um, my opponent does choose to play first and keeps his opener as well. And we are off drawing into a mountain there is pretty good for me. I'm able to go ahead and get this razor tip whip out. Might have been better to get the frostburn weird going there, um, just because it gives it w would have been something he would have had to deal with. Um, might have been a mistake there on my part. I'll go ahead and play out the skull cleaver here, but he has a freakus cure to go ahead and get it right off the table, which definitely means uh, frostburn weird would have been stronger there. Has a corpse hauler here which I'm going to go ahead and play the Cyclops out and see if he's able to deal with it. Um, he does have a Grizzly Spectacle right away and not getting really any value out of these uh, Razor Tip Whips, but I am able to shock off the Corpse Hauler before it's able to get much done. But my opponent finds a Basilicus creature, which is definitely going to, to be hard for me. Probably should have Essence Scattered that in retrospect rather than having to use my Burn Spell. Um, but it is nice to save these Essence Scatter for something that's really going to be a threat. and I can take that, that isn't susceptible to my lightning bolt. So once again, a little mana shy. Um, my opponent does have a gray merchant, which I'm able to essence scatter, so that is nice. And finally get my first activation out of the uh, razor tip whip. Drop the frostburn weird and another razor tip whip. Fortunately, my opponent here has a second gray merchant and putting me firmly in behind on the, the land race here. Um, my opponent thinks about blocking, but decides against it. And then I get another Frostburn Weird onto the battlefield. And I'm looking okay, depending on what my opponent finds, but he has a Devour Flesh, plus another Devour Flesh, which, while putting me back on top of the life race, definitely is going to slow me down. And I don't really have any good way now of dealing with this Great Merchant. So all I can really do is ping him for two. Um, that's all he can do at the moment, but there's a lot of different cards that he could find that could do a lot of damage to me. I do find a Skull Cleaver. I have a feeling it's just going to get, yeah, it does get Freakas cured right out of existence, but my opponent and I are pretty much just trading damage at this point, which isn't necessarily bad for me, um, but a read the bones could be disastrous simply because he's now he's going to outreach me as far as draw spells. Um, a shock isn't a bad thing, so I've got an additional five points of damage on him that I can hold on to. Um, he unfortunately finds a perilous shadow, which he's got enough mana and I don't have any creatures, so he's really going to be able to start doing a lot of damage with that. Um, could two for one him here to get rid of it. Um, because he can only, let's see, he can pump it up to six. No, I couldn't even do that, actually. I take that back. So that Perilous Shadow is going to be very difficult to race. Um, I do find a Frostburn Weird, which may be enough to uh, be able to block it if he doesn't have a Counterspell for it. Unfortunately, he does have the Grizzly Spectacle there. It's drawn pretty well, I must say. Now, I would take, I would have to draw into a second Burn Spell here to, uh, to be able to get that Perilous Shadow off the board. Um, which I am not able to do. Um, oh, it is enough. I take it back. So I do go ahead and do the two-for-one just because that thing is going to kill me so quickly. And go ahead and ping him down to ten. And again, we're just kind of in a, a damage race. Um, but the fact that he's able to keep drawing so many more cards than me is definitely going to help. And then he manages to find a Crypt Incursion. Um, and even though I'm not playing a lot of creatures, I'm playing enough that he gets a ton of value out of it. And at this point, you know, the handwriting's on the wall. Draw the Dispel one turn too late. Would have been really nice the turn before. No such luck for me. And my opponent's able to find a Disciple as well. Which she immediately obviously takes the thing out of my hand and has another Read the Bones and a Corpse Holler. And uh, yeah, the, this game is pretty much over. So I, uh, of course, draw a land and go ahead and concede. So that was game two. Be back in a minute for game three.